Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Randomizer. We are hopping right back into a chapter nine. One survives. Pretty standalone chapter. Big news! Big news afoot! Okay, no, no, no. I, I already understand the story. There's no cool animations, so I, I, I looked back into it last time. I saw that Alencia took over for Sanaki. She's like... Oh. Guys, she's literally eight years old. She made a decree one month ago that everyone in Banyan has to watch Dora at exactly 6 p.m. And we have to all eat applesauce, and it's it's not working. It doesn't lead anything. And she's just like, okay, I'm taking over. She's a dumb child. And she immediately looks over and says, hey, there's a lot of fucking... I don't know, evil shit going on here with the Senate. I'm gonna, you know, take a little stop to that, and uh, here we are. They're <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna free up Dane real quick. So we won, and that's and now we celebrate. Almost, 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 because one prince, ex prince of the Serenus Forest. Now, is making his final stand here. His hate for humans grows every night, and now he's going to take his revenge on the leader of the Dawn Brigade, Leonardo, for destroying everything he held dear. His ability to torture humans as he saw fit. And <laughs> we get to partake in a chapter that's, uh, relatively doesn't really matter who we are, but there might be a little bit of complications. Let's get this from Sarasafra. Oh, wait, it's missed. Never mind. It, it did set pillies. Oh. Soft. Wow, how unusual to see you alone. I, I'm not, I'm not sneak. I'm not planning it. Go, go away. Go out. So, leave me alone, little girl. I'm, the, I'm the ruler, though. Fuck you. You gotta tell me what you're doing. Uh, I, 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 I'm not sending secret information to Ben. No, no, I, 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 I don't. But, uh, I'm, uh, the, the Dom Brigade. The, the, the Dom Brigade. I, I see the hot shit. You're, you're, the, the, the. Is you okay? Miss is not okay today. She is talking a little funny. And the problem occurs when we are down to one Leonardo. Our not that good unit. Level six. About as squishy as Makaya herself. Which, I mean, puts her about on par where they'd be. I guess I could pick up some stuff. I have Lavelle. You could use a killing edge or Wodao. What's better? Uh. Every way, shape, or form, that's better. Let's save that for Lavelle. Oh, just a steel axe. I might buy two. Give those for Numida so he has stuff to work with next time. I mean, a dagger for Ina, but she's not going to be really using it. And garbage I can't use. Any any healing stabs? Disarm would be cool, but we don't have a thief. Well, that's not true. We do have a thief for the rest of this chapter, we have Raphael the Thief. So if we have disarm on someone who hits pretty frequently, there might be a chance to disarm and we can get some more stuff. So I actually will take this. I might give it to Leonardo, because we could probably bop up a couple of the priests and hopefully disarm them and take their healing stabs. Even if for a chapter, even if it's stuff we could just sell, that might not be the worst idea. And nothing really looking appealing. Check the forge real quick. Eh, eh, eh. I should really make more interesting use of this and craft like a, a big might woe dow. That'd be kind of cool. Unfortunately, it's very expensive. <laughs> or like the Viacati. Uh, nothing's really standing out right now, though buying one of these would be very fun. I could buy a horse slayer. You know what, just in case- oh wait, no, we have Uncle Tito, never mind, Soren's good for a while. Uh, let's buy a horse slayer. Oh my god, I should just make that cool, imagine a fucking horse slayer with 50 million attack. Anyway, there's really nothing we can do since it's just us. It's just Leonardo, and it's more like uh, eh, you, we'll we'll get in there. 
Leonardo was chilling with his horse. Hey, Yune. Yune's the horse, by the way. Hey, Yune. Thank God we could... Thank God you've mastered stealth as a horse and we could kind of just walk out of camp. Isn't it weird? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I've been hearing these voices, like... That I'm not the leader of the Dawn Brigade? Or something? I don't know. It, it feels weird. Oh, shit. Racing! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Bishi of Dawn, as they like to call you. My, my, my. All by yourself, I see. It's time to take you down. Things are not looking good. Prince Racing. Pretty strong. His goons. Oh, they made this easy! Oh my god, they did it! They made it not a nightmare. Maybe I could even get a level or two off Leonardo. Holy schmoly! I wonder if the, the rest are like that. Let's just go into it. Uh, I might re. I don't know, because we're pretty much just gonna be blindly walking in the dark of reset randomized units, so who knows? Prince Racing, why are you doing this? Because I'm. You ruined everything. I just wanted to kill humans, and now you're in my way. So I have to kill you, the Bishi of Dawn. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, it's infected him too. No, we gotta get out of here. Everyone, bail. Bail the fuck out. Turn the lights off. <laughs> we have creepy pasta Valug filling the role of the Black Knight. He's. H, he's given up. He doesn't want to follow Nala around anymore, and he's found the path of the blade. Looks the same. They don't change him at all. Concoction. I'm taking that from you, by the way. We don't need that. Okay, never mind. Everyone's beefed. I don't know what was up with those two guys. I, I don't know. So, it's dark. I don't know where everyone is. <laughs> this guy think he can... Oh my god, that guy can do damage to me. That's hilarious. Cause he's got a hammer. And I don't know the capabilities of units, so I kind of just have to play extra cautious, because who knows what could happen. Extra careful, because I there's no telling what the capabilities of every guy could be. You would never think that a guy with a short axe could hit me from one to range. That's really unprecedented. Did they randomize how weapons work in this game? Seems kind of weird. Anyway, like I was saying, we gotta go here and be extra defensive, and I guess we just put, like, the Black Knight, like, yeah, I guess he's just here. Hopefully there's guys from the top that'll come down that he can slaughter real quick. But it's going to be a lot of watching the Black Knight do this. I'm kind of I'm kind of curious what his battle animations look like, because it's Valug, right? It's not the Black Knight. Hmm. Hmm. Huh, that's grass and not anything else. Hmm. Like I, you know what? Well, let's take the time to see what this looks like. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, I suppose. Oh. <coughs> Was that the power of Ultra Instinct? I mean, I could live if I dodge that 6%, right? Right? Oh, fuck, I kept the animations on. No, not T posing Micaiah! She's dead! <laughs> She's malfunctioning. <sighs> Gonna need to plot out my first couple of turn ones, aren't I? Because this looks really difficult. And I can't pick them up. Alright, I think I figured it out. I'm gonna take out those two guys. That man with the hammer couldn't reach last turn. And then I can just kind of tuck Leonardo away here. And then Death Knight can hopefully fight everyone for a while. <laughs> Very interesting trial and error. I wish I had a Divine Pulse right now. Very, very much, because this is a dumb reason, just to reset 18 times in a row. Imagine doing this on an Iron Man with a bad Micaiah. Honestly, it's hard enough with a good Micaiah. 
I think there's a torch in my convoy that I totally should be using right now. I don't know why I'm not. I also don't remember why I'd have a torch, but I assumed it's random items. I'm pretty sure there's not a single Fog of War chapter before now? Pretty sure. If I get cleave. Alright, and and gonna check that out while I figure out my next couple of turns, because that guy I think just spawned, which is fun. Alright guys, I'm back again, and I found something pretty interesting that not only did I have the torch, but Let's uh, use that real quick. But I have a shine barrier, which means I can wall off an area and just keep going. Going, 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 going around this map. <laughs> it's really funny when they do damage to the Black Knight. I wonder if it's possible to kill him. Also, I don't remember that guy moving. I wonder if that changed given... Uh... Words. Words are hard. Words are hard. Given the fact that I used the torch. Let's use it again. Keep a light on everything. I should have shine barrier there, though. I think that was the perfect opportunity. Is right at that corner. Kind of looks like it. There was a horse here. I also don't remember how torches work in this game. I think I'm recalling, like... Uh, like a torch staff from FE6 or something? Or FE7? Oh. Tanith! Oh, Tanith! We have a surprise for you! What a find! Holy schmoly! Alright, but I think this is the perfect place to put a shine barrier. Wait, did I already have a wild heart in my convoy? If I had one all this time and never used it, I'm a. Wait, no, it might be a problem of gauge. I'm, I think I recall that now. All right, now luckily, should be pretty straightforward with that shine barrier there. We walk forward with the Black Knight. He kill everyone, we move on. No kills for Leonardo. He's never getting any anyway. I don't know what he could do to get them. Yeah, those were the guys they, wait. Hmm. A lot of hammers. A lot, a lot of hammers. And I just realized our savior is another general. I don't know. I'm cursed. Something's up. Something is up. I'm really hoping that the part three maps now don't get randomized. Uh, in the sense that I hope we're still fighting Lagoos. Because those maps, if they end up as anything else, say, uh, Wyverns, maybe? But might be a problem. Might be a problem, because they expect you to work choke points with uh, tanky units. And while we do have tanky units, that'll be very good for that. If they're randomized into something that's not so good for it, uh, something that to fly over the barriers, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble, aren't we? Hello. Hello. I wish I had a second shine barrier. Just gotta keep my eyeballs open. I unfortunately can't get too close because they might have short axes and just knock my whole head off. I am glad though that Velu came to his senses and still in the end decided to help the Don Bergach. Because where would we be without Velug? He, car he carries part one. With Soth, obviously. But they they go a ham together. Velug's a good boy. He's one of the first Lagoos units I ever used. Like, uh, tried to bring them all the way to the tower. I've, I've done it with everyone at this point because I've played this game too much, little, too much. But <laughs> I've done all Lagoos runs. I've done just bringing pairs or random ones, ones that I like. I like Lyra a lot, even though she's too good. She's too good. Lyra's a little bit too good. I don't always I don't feel good using good units, right? You ever feel that way? You ever, like, that's the whole Jagan pitfall thing. Never you, you don't like using good units. You like raising the losers up. I, that's how I feel with Lyra. She's unfortunately a little too good. And I just don't know what to do with 
uh, her sometimes. I'm gonna torch just to make sure I'm gonna hide in this corner and also very fitting. Very fitting for possibly the conclusion of Route 1 that Rayson is in fact another armor knight. Another one. Uh, pretty impressed. You must be a Lagoose, eh? I'm sorry to Ugh, to be beaten by my own the goose brethren. Fuck it. And we know that we know the rest. Time is told as ailed as old as time. Alder, elder, elder aided him. In the death and the the death black knight that copy pasta knight is like don't worry <laughs> Leonardo you have to run and escape that is the corrupted knight he will kill you he will corrupt your save files you will never be able to do a completed run and get Pelias shut up to run run now no no it's fine it's fine if we glitch if if you glitch properly, nothing goes wrong. Oh! Is, but, look. Soft. If you BLJ, and you don't clip through the whole fucking Peach's castle, you go through the door like you're supposed to, then it's fine. If you know how to control the glitches, then it works. Look at melee. Look at melee. You can trust the corrupt... You can trust... Crust... You can uncrustables, you can give the corrupt knight an uncrustables and he will be your friend. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay? Okay. Wow. Holy shit. That took... <laughs> Not even 20 minutes. That's stinky. I would barely even played the map. And that was even with a lot of cutting around. Wow, that sucked. Oh well. Short episode. Uh, but don't worry. Next episode's gonna be a long one. Hope you guys look forward to that, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, have a nice day.